people are thinking about getting the kids back and getting the number two pencils and the notebooks and all that stuff, but it's not just the children. They're going to get up and kind of go somewhere else. I think animals have some plans coming up for the fall as well. Jen Dean is here, who is an environmental specialist, species specialist. Do I have that right? Environmental specialist, yeah. Okay, I knew you were a specialist in environmental related. Tell me a little bit about what we've got here and tell me what these guys have planned for the fall. Well, all of these guys are going to do their second migration or movement. Um, it's going to start getting chilly and unlike us, they're, they're going to have to buckle down and cover up in a little bit more of dirt and that way they can stay warm. Okay. But I was, since everyone's starting to get ready, do their lawn stuff, I wanted to bring these guys out and show um, because these guys really do need, like the, the sticks and the leaves and that's really what they need for cover and most people don't really realize how much these guys help them this summer um i brought really? a spotted salamander which is really hard normally for us to see because oh he's gosh. what's called a mole salamander look at that thing and just like a mole he likes to dig underground but when these guys are in the ponds these guys mostly are going to be eating mosquito larvae so oh, these good. guys have made it so that it's a great summer for us yeah right and then the other guy that i brought was a garter snake um, we normally get to see them. They do great help, not only in the garden. They eat a lot of slugs so that I can Pretty enjoy tough. my strawberries without anybody kind of coming in and eating them. <laughs> That's and good. The other thing is these guys actually like to eat mice and ticks. How um, in the heck can that thing swallow a mouse? Well, he's not quite big enough Okay, yet. We're getting gonna, there? Yeah, he's uh -huh. going to get up to about three feet. Ticks are a great carrier of Lyme disease, unfortunately. Um, and these guys really help keep the Lyme disease and the tick population in check. Now, you mentioned lawns with sticks and with leaves and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and is that kind of an incentive to maybe not clean up the lawn so you're giving these guys a better environment? That would be an awesome idea. I know that a lot of people love their beautiful lawns. Um, so instead, if they really want it to look as gorgeous and pruned as they do, if you can just make a pile for them on the side of the lawn, that would be fantastic. But if I left my lawn just as it is, and I explained to the neighbors, look, I'm trying to help out the garter snakes. That's look, the I'm just trying to do. I, use. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. That's excellent. Hey, so if people come to Echo, they want to check out these animals. Where are they? And I know you guys uh, take them out, and some some animals, and feed them and stuff like that. Who yep. can see what when? Um, these guys are going to be in display on the top floor of Echo. That's where we like to keep all of our cold-blooded animals or okay. herbs. Yep. Um, also, we do animal care demos yeah. at 10:30 and 3 o'clock. Okay. Every day, you can check the Echo website, and it'll tell you what we're up to for today. Sounds Trouble. good. All right. Thanks. So I know you.